G'day mates and welcome to some b-roll I'm filming, just in case I need it. I've already half opened the box and I realised it had my address on it, which is the entire reason I got a P.O. box down below, probably. This is on Jerry Bean's Man, or maybe it's an actual video of bolt action. Anyway, I'm just opening this in case I need it. God, these scissors are genuinely terrible. They're not actually sharp as blades, because they, they come apart. This is a pair of scissors that I've taken in half to be a knife. Because I didn't want to accidentally cut anything. God, they actually are just the worst. Yeah, I would probably be a lot safer just using a knife. God! Oh, it's been years since I've actually played Warhammer. And just the, the satisfaction of getting a bunch of new models and shit. Ah, oh, there's so much cool shit in here. Oh my god, all the poles are metal. Okay, so this is the Polish Army HQ. Which, hang on. What? Yeah, there you go. It's got a dog. I'm not. It's hard to see, but one of the members of the Polish HQ unit is just a dog dragging a telephone cable, which is fucking adorable. Um, although, in saying that, I fucking hate metal models. Oh, they are fully assembled. I kind of like the assembly, though. That was my favourite part. The painting is where I fucking... I mean, I'm actually not half bad at model painting. It's the one type of art I can actually do. Yeah, I've got a dreadnought up there who's not too bad. But anyway, um... This is the Polish infantry section. Oh my god, all the poles are going to be metal, aren't they? This is, I think, the free model we get. It's like a, a French partisan who's just like, oh, hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. She's got a fucking... What's she got? she got a stent? Oh, she's got an MP40. Oh my god. This is the Vickers team, the Vickers MMG team. I didn't realise they came in metal. Weird, alright. Desert Warfare Cattle. I think I just got given this. Oh, yep, no, this is trying to sell me things. This is trying to sell me things. Ooh, that was cool. Ah, dice bag. Never mind. <laughs> you have too many of those. Alright, onwards we go. We now have the Polish Army Marksman Anti-Tank and Light Mortar. Those are actually really quite cool. Ah, oh, he's, he's on like a... Oh, he's on some rocks. Nice. But yeah, the sniper that is. And I'm actually... I want to get like a good shot of all of this when I'm finished. Here we are. Now, this is my favourite piece. My mate doesn't know I got him this yet, because he's playing the Germans. This is the German army hand. Okay, I think you can read it there. This is the German army propaganda cameraman. And as you can see, he's a tiny German soldier with a fucking film camera. Um, that is adorable, and my mate still doesn't know I have it, so hopefully he'll see that on the day. Now comes the boxes, of which there are many. To start with, we've got the Universal Carry, which is for my mate who's playing the Brits. Um, I think it's just one, yeah, just one carrier. Oh, okay, you get like a stat card and shit, and you get a full colour... Oh, you get the decals! I fucking remember, look at that shit, the decals on the bottom left. You always used to get that stuff with Warhammer, you used to get like Warhammer bloody, um, the insignias and stuff, and you could stick on your carrier, that's cool. Damage markers as... Oh, you get damage markers? Oh, shit, that's cool. Alright. Move that over to there. Now, this is the only one I got for me, and oh yeah, you can feel the metal, it's fucking heavy. The Australian Independent Commando section, there we go, these guys. That's fucking cool. These guys are mid and late era, because they're the commandos, not the uh, militia. But I'm gonna build, slowly build up a whole group of Australians. They're fun, they're cool. We've got some mid to late British infantry, there we go. Oh, that's cool. I think these guys are like Sten guns and, yeah, Sten guns, uh, Tommy guns, rifles. Ah, oh, man. These aren't B, they can't, they aren't the British Expeditionary Force. I'm quickly realising I'm running out of space in my table. Early war. I like how the Poles only have early war soldiers. Oh, no, I think there might be a Polish, like, home army or Polish, uh, whatever. Um... Metal? Oh, my poor mate is going to have only metal models, but there you go, the Polish infantry squad. So there we go, these stick mine next to the commandos. Visit us in Nottingham. Uh, yeah, mate, mate, uh, look, I'd love to. How close is Nottingham to Birmingham? <laughs> is it at all close? I'm not quite sure, because, you know, I am going there, I don't know. I won't have time, whatever. I just kind of want to... I like seeing all the models in stores. It's so cool. It's so fucking cool. 
Okay, here is the starter set, which is I'm actually going to open. So we'll show off the German set first. This is for my mate. This is the main big set we've got. This is the German Grenadiers. So inside of it comes... Uh, okay, we've got a tank. Hang on, let me see what you get. Okay. Um, you get 1,250 points. Fuck, that was cheap for this many points. So you get a lieutenant and two extra riflemen. You get a grenadier squad. You get two veteran grenadier squads. Um, they get four Panzerfausts each. Fuck me. Uh, you get LMG teams with them as well. Uh, you get a mortar team. A regular mortar team. There's one or like a light mortar, I think. A normal mortar. Um, you get an MMG team. You get a pack anti-tank gun. No one else even has any fucking tanks yet. Um, you get a Stug. So the uh, support tank. And uh, you get a Puma armoured car. That's fucking cool. So that is going to go up on my keyboard as well. And then the pièce de résistance. The main thing that we're playing with is the Band of Brothers. Whew. This is the, uh, what's it called, kit, the uh, starter kit at the moment. I think, I'm not sure, if the, I think this may be the only starter kit they have actually. Because I remember Warhammer used to switch starting kits every generation. And it was like Orcs versus Space Marines, Tyranids versus Space Marines, Space Marines versus Space Marines. It's always fucking Space Marines. Never got to see any other good factions in a starter kit. It was always a bad faction and a good faction. I don't think, Eldar even a starter kit? I don't fucking know. Okay, so in this video, I'll pull her apart, but you've got pretty much 24 uh, paratroopers who come with, I think that's an MMG? Yeah, it looks like an MMG. I wonder how they meant, I guess they just meant to take this like half track on by charging it, or like with, I guess, because you can suppress half tracks. Um, if, it's, if a vehicle's opened up, you can shoot a lot until the crew inside panics, even though you won't actually do any damage to the vehicle. Um, and then, yeah, so they get a, the Germans get a half-track with an anti-tank gun and a machine gun on the back and a bunch of soldiers, a bunch of grenadiers. Uh, we also get a farmhouse. So, let's try this. Now being incredibly careful, because we're actually on to the models. Modeling is just playing with toys for grown-ups. And I say that, I used to play with models when I was a kid too. Should I have this light on now? I don't know. Kind of the problem is it fucks with the lighting. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. It's sort of it's sort of figured out, despite the fact it's in view. Alright, cool. Oh my god, this is the uh this is like Warhammer size book. I was expecting a big book, but this is Warhammer manual size. Yeah, I get this, I get this. I'm actually a really big fan of the rules of bolt action. I prefer it to Warhammer. I haven't played the latest one. I played Warhammer like three editions ago. Actually, I, I think I had two editions. No. I think so I played. When I first played, I played one edition, and by the time I stopped playing this as a kid, and I barely actually played, I mostly just got the model and tried to play. I only really got to play at the store. By the time I left, there'd been another edition, and... No, no, in the, in the time I was playing, there'd been another edition, and as I left, there was a third edition that came out. Because Warhammer editions are just fucking shot out everywhere. And I think since then, there's been another edition, which is... That was like 8th or ninth. Is there? When did I play? My god. I will say the only thing I'm not hugely happy about with uh, bolt action is they don't model throwing grenades. Well, they do. They do when you close assault. Close assaults in this game are lethal. Unless special rules come into play, whoever wins the first closest, like the first battle of close assaults, whoever kills the most people in the first fight, uh, the other side is completely wiped out, dead. Um, it, like there's a few exceptions, like if you're a vehicle, you don't get completely wiped. The pieces, the pieces, the pieces do call to me. Ah! Oh, it's so much fun. Oh, there's a tiny, bloody MG42 there. Ah, oh, there's all. Oh my god, there's so many tiny bits of this half track. I fucking love it. Oh my god. Oh, there's that smell. Oh. Anyway, you, they don't model throwing grenades, which I guess is fair because once you get close enough to throw grenades in this game, you should just close assault. You are within range to close assault. Um, the only time I think I'd find it relevant is if you were like on either sides of cover and you didn't want to close assault because then they'd get defensive bonus for being in cover prepared to, for you to assault them and they didn't want to assault you. So you should just throw grenades at each other is a smarter plan. I don't know. There's still HE rounds and stuff. I guess you could always model it, but... I don't like, sort of, 
homebrewing stuff until we're really sure. The only thing I... Hey, okay. That's one thing I'm, I am sort of willing to look into homebrewing. I'm going to test the games a lot before we ever suggest this idea, though, is that machine guns don't provide extra pinning in the game. Instead, they're just, like, very lethal weapons, which is not what machine guns were. They were hilariously inaccurate and not really great for bang, 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 bang. Like, that's not what you do with machine gun. You go brrrr, so everyone gets their heads down, so then you can move up, surround, and shoot them with your other guns. That's the entire point of a machine gun. Um, unless, you know, you're in World War One, in which point they were pretty lethal because you were just running at them and you weren't really taking cover. Um, also, I love this. World, uh, it's called Warlord Games, the guys who made this, have a bunch of other games. Like, they cover every period that you want to get interested in. Bolt Action, World War Two. Uh, also, sort of World War One if you wanted to do it. Also, there's Conflict 47, which is like futuristic Bolt It's basically Wolfenstein, right? It's super Wolfenstein. Uh, Beyond the Gate of Antares, that's their sci-fi one, which is actually pretty interesting. Um, I haven't looked into it too much, though, just like I sort of had a guess, at, uh, so I had a little peek at it. There is Black Powder, so 1700s to 1900s. Pretty cool. That's the uh, Tau Rau 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 the British Grenadiers. There's also another one, which is then... Uh, there's Hail Caesar, which is 3000 BC to 500 AD. Uh, so that is like every sort of ancient army there is. Ah, uh, here we go. Pike and Shot is 1500 to 1700 on this page. Conflict 47, which is again the uh, 1947 plus. Except, you know, in this case it's uh, crazy bullshit. Uh, I think there's another game they've got. They've also got like some few minor games. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. I should buy a Battlefields and Basin kit. Fuck, advertising works on me. Right. Oh, nice. Marilla S. packed this for me. I've decided this is a video now, by the way. This is what's going up on Jerry Beans, man. Marilla S. Hey, Marilla S., thank you for packing... God damn it, your name is so blurred. Thank you for packing this. I don't know how it got inside of this box. Wait a second. I know how, because this is the starter kit. They must take other kits, take them apart, put them in the starter kit, put it all in, close it in the top, wrap it that in plastic, put this in while they're doing that. Because this this was in the actual inside of plastic. I was wondering how the hell they got that in there. Impressive, your clones are. Oh yeah, here are the dice in this game. It's actually quite cool. Twitch would fire me for the indecency I'm showing. So, in this game, you put all your dice in a bag, right? And then you draw dice out each turn to see whose unit activates. So if a green dice comes out, that's the Americans. And you go, all right, I'm going to make my dude fire. So you put the fire token down on your unit. Then you, the German draws a dice and he's... Oh, no, then you do your action. And the German draws a dice and he goes, I am going to run. And he puts his run on his unit and so on and so forth. You can also just use numbers if you don't have uh, a bunch of cool dice. But I kind of like the cool dice. The cool dice are very cool. However, I don't think we're going to have enough cool dice. We're going to need to buy more cool dice. I have spent too much money on this already. I've spent, like, I bought all these armies for my mates because I was like, hey, if you help me paint and make them, I'm just going to pay for them. I have the money. So I was like, because it's very, 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 very cheap. Bolt action compared to Warhammer. Ho! Oh. I was, like, sitting there on the website, like, as a kid, I would have fucking died if I found out I'd paid all that much. I got, like, $3,000 of Warhammer in the closet over my various birthdays and Christmases and pocket money and fucking, I put all my money into Warhammer. It did not pay off. I still have unpainted models. Lots of unpainted models. Just naturally looking for the chainsaw. Oh my god, I found it! It's not a chainsaw, but there's a machete. Nice. They all have... I was supposed to say radio packbacks. No, those are shovels. I much prefer shovels. Ah, oh, they have the tiny bits so you can put little, like, bandoliers and shit on your troops. Fuck yes! Oh, so this is how big the Hanamag is. That's actually pretty fucking sizable. Like a rhino's only that big, Jesus. All right, fair, right? Um, Tommy guns, Brownings. Also, the way he holds this, I assume he's meant to be lying down when he holds that. Christ, there's a lot of bits in here. I fucking love me some bits. Ah, oh, the way these work are very cool. So in this game, you can get pinned. First of all, quality of these is really nice. They're like plastic sort of, but they're explosions. They're not 2D. They're like 3D modeled explosions. They're really nice. But uh, when you get pinned in this mode, you can get more and more pin markers. And eventually, if you get as many pin markers as your morale, which is nearly impossible, 
uh, you just break and run. You're out of the game, completely dead. Even though you aren't dead, you haven't died, your unit is completely removed. Realistically, the real problem pin markers give is that your morale goes down as you try and uh, give orders. Like when you tell someone to shoot, and they're like, no, I'm fucking scared. So they don't act. The more pin markers, the less likely they are to act. Um, but I was wondering, like, it'd be a bit of bitch to, like, stack, like, six pin markers on a unit. But no, with this, you spin, this is a little circle, you spin the pin marker in it to show how many pins they have. And then uh, it also just looks cool. That's fucking awesome. I like that shit. Oh, that is awesome. There's, so, in whenever you have a unit with, um, what do you call it, with, a, like, a machine gun, an LMG, you have to have a loader as well for the LMG. And you can put the fucking bullets around his neck to show that he's a loader, like the, the fucking, uh, what do you call it? Bandolier bullet? No. Belt? A belt. A belt of bullets. Those are the Hannah Mag as well. God, that's so cool. And then, they've also given me an absolute fuck ton of these. Warlord games. Just like, you see these? These are just like, I assume these are just meant to be filler spots if there's not many, any, uh, meant, to any, uh, meant to be anything there. You put this there as like a filler spot, okay? It's just like a bit of, you know, plastic. Because they still need to cut the plastic out. They're not going to like... They'll just put, see, that's alright, put that filler spot there. But they just sent me a whole block of them. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I am an idiot. Whilst tearing apart my Australian commando so I could have a peek at them, I realised what these little circles were for. Those are the bases. You know, the things that all the units need. But of course, they don't look like bases to me because all the Warhammer ones have lines through them. And I'm a very special kind of guy where I didn't really realise that, you know, none of my units had lines on their feet that would fit into a base. Clever. All right, bye again. Oh God, they sent me a big one as well. It still says Warlord Games on it. <laughs> All this free advertising. Yeah, on a Jerry Beansman video. Good. Then there's this. This is actually quite a cool template. This is their small and large HE template, right? So this is a large one. This is a small one. They're actually a shared template. So you just put which one you want on. Um, and then all around the side, we've got little bolt action ticks. I don't know what these are for though. Oh, okay. So I assume like you put these with a unit to... Ah, I think you put these with your dice. So you put them on the dice that you put next to the unit. Like I said, little groovers for the dice to show that they've advanced or that they've shot or retreated or something, I presume? What do you actually use these for? That one looks like knocked out tracks. So you remember the tracks being disabled. That one looks like no visibility or something. That one looks like maybe... Turret direction? I'm not quite sure what the rest of these are. Sorry, I need you back for a second, camera. I thought it was over, but then I discovered that on top of this play sheet, they have little rulers in pay- I, I love ingenious bullshit like this. I'm never gonna use this, because this is- I have rulers. And a measuring tape. But that's- that's clever. I like that. I like that you could cut that out and use it as like a ruler if you just didn't have a ruler. That's really considerate. I like that shit. Go- go you. Go you. That's fucking awesome. Well, that's cool. Um, this game is fucking awesome. I can't wait to get my mates over so we can just build all that shit. This isn't all of our stuff though. We still have, uh, Japanese units to arrive. We've still got the, uh, paints, more books. I think that's it. Although I'm almost certain that I'm going to, uh, grab some more battlefield stuff. But we probably just make some of that manually. But I really kind of want some. Maybe some more dice. I mean, it's very cheap. I'm gonna go fucking waste some more money, aren't I? Yup! Please watch this video so I can buy more stupid little models because I kind of like them. Let's have a little bit of a look, shall we? Oh, yes, darling. Oh, look at all of that. Look at that. The tower, 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 tower of the German Grenadiers.